Cement is vital for our everyday lives, but it accounts for 4% of global carbon dioxide emissions. It's therefore essential that companies such as Manic are doing everything they can to reduce the carbon emissions from cement and to help us all in our journey towards net zero. There's a key challenge facing all cement producers currently, whereby the carbon content of our products is very high. And the key objective of all businesses such as ourselves is to seek ways to reduce the carbon content in the product that we produce. This project aims for us to be able to use alternative raw materials in the production of our aircrete blocks. One of these materials would be a byproduct from our cement production and another product is water glass from another company within Northern Ireland. There are a number of potential solutions for making cement more sustainably. What we're seeing here at Manic is particularly exciting because they've demonstrated two ways of doing that. Firstly through process innovation, by reducing the level of energy consumed in the way that we manufacture our products. And the other is seeing the inclusion of byproducts from other sectors such as cement and glass. I'm excited about this, the future of sustainable cement because currently cement production is one of the highest contributors to the CO2 emissions worldwide and with the increasing demands for cement and concrete this is expected to increase even further. At Innovate UK we're pleased to work with a huge variety of companies from across the foundation industry sector and when, when you look at companies like Manic you see they're pioneering on new ways for addressing our common net zero challenge through making our foundation industry products more sustainable by either being more resource efficient or by being more energy efficient. We're currently living in a world where climate change is a big talk in the world. It's one of the big problems. So it feels great to be part of the research team involved in reducing the CO2 emissions from cement production. So Manuk are looking to completely change their, their processes to be more sustainable. That will mean lots of innovations from their perspective. And those are innovations that are going to lead to change, not just for themselves as a company, but for the region that they're involved in. It's incredibly important that companies like Manok, who are key employers in, in critical regions in the UK, can transform so that they're going to be part of our economic system long into the future. Anything that can be done to make cement more sustainably, both through resource efficiency and through energy efficiency, is going to help us meet our zero net carbon goals.